Does your mind ever feel sluggish and unmotivated, like it just can't cut through the fog? In this video, we're going to review how a common vitamin deficiency may be a contributing factor that when addressed can substantially improve brain performance. Biomin, or vitamin B1, is a water-soluble vitamin found in foods like beans, lentils, sunflower seeds, and macadamia nuts. Vitamin deficiency is usually due to inadequate intake of this vitamin. However, different demographics are at a higher risk such as those who consume alcohol, other diuretics, or polished grains frequently. Advanced vitamin B1 deficiency can lead to serious conditions such as beriberi and Wernicke's encephalopathy. Biomin is necessary for the brain and nervous system, and these can be impacted soon after B1 levels start to drop. This drop can result in things like impaired memory formation or an inability to focus. A long-term B1 deficit may be a key player in dementia. As a recent study pointed out, patients with Alzheimer's disease have imbalances in blood thiamine concentrations and lower activity of thiamine-dependent enzymes. Multiple similarities exist between classical thiamine deficiency and Alzheimer's disease in that both are associated with cognitive deficits and reductions in brain glucose metabolism, otherwise read as brain energy. This is where benfoshamine comes in. It's a fat-soluble, more bioavailable form of vitamin B1 developed in Japan in the early 1960s. Preclinical trials of benfoshamine found significant improvement in the hallmark symptoms of Alzheimer's, such as impaired cognition, amyloid beta plaques, tau tangles, diminished glucose metabolism, oxidative stress, and inflammation. In humans, long-term use of benfoshamine was found to improve the brain performance of patients with mild to moderate Alzheimer's disease. Another study on mice showed that it even has the potential for improving stress response and depression. Benfoshamine was shown to be efficient at reducing something called advanced glycation end products, or AGEs. These AGEs occur in certain foods exposed to high temperatures and can build up to levels in the brain and body that cause excessive inflammation and oxidative stress. AGEs have been strongly implicated in both Alzheimer's and diabetes, and because of this, benfoshamine has been described as a must-have supplement for diabetics. More research declares that the anti-AGE property of benfoshamine certainly makes it effective for the treatment of diabetic neuropathy, nephropathy, and retinopathy, by which they mean damage to the nervous system, kidneys, and eyes. But is benfoshamine the best form of vitamin B1 for the brain? The nootropic sulbutamine, also discovered in Japan around the same time, has long been used to increase brain function. In a study from 2008, it outperformed benfoshamine and claimed superiority until just recently when a new kid on the block, dibenzyl thiamine, moved in and apparently whipped both their asses. Although I only started taking benfoshamine recently, my brain feels like it has more energy and I can concentrate easier, especially when I combine it with the supplement Alpha GPC. One last thing. Those pesky AGEs that benfoshamine has been found to be so effective against have definitely been associated with macular degeneration, cataract formation, glaucoma, and diabetic retinopathy, the top causes of vision loss in industrial countries. Combine benfoshamine with the carotenoids I discuss in this video right here to help keep your eyes sharp and healthy for the long term. Thank you for watching.